Mark, this is what I wanted to show you yesterday, but there's a small gain problem. These are the uh, test results for the hill and fence uh, configuration we were talking about. Uh, I'll switch this over. The yellow line is the predicted power versus range for a transmitter height of 1 meter and a receiver height of 1.7 meters. But there's a, an adjacent fence uh, that's 8.6 meters away. So if we configure the software to represent that, the predicted and measure, comparison of predicted and measured powers now looks like this. So there's a remarkable agreement between the two. Uh, there's a null here and a null here and not a null. It falls apart when you get out uh, to past about 40 meters because uh, the ground isn't very flat out to there. But uh, this is at 900 megahertz. If we look at um, 915 megahertz also, we have a null here and so forth. It's quite good agreement all the way up. 960 is interesting. There's several points of agreement. Uh, a null here, a null here, a null here, and these measurement points seem to sort of dance through uh, near nulls. And if we go down, uh, which are good landmarks, 885 megahertz, 870. The strange structure in here is looks like a sampling issue between uh, one meter spacing and uh, the actual power versus range curves that look like this. And if you take the, uh, if you remove the uh, predicted power, and we just step through the different frequencies, there are nine carriers here. Um, they look like noise, and each one's different, but they're not noise. There's a very strong uh, deterministic signal there.